off the cart bath. <laughs> All right, well, I cheated a little bit with that. I think I thinned it. I don't know if you can thin a driver. <laughs> I definitely thinned that. Oh, go in. Oh yeah, it's gonna spin right on. Get on there. Hey everyone, thanks for coming back for another Punch Greens Golf video. If you're new to the channel, my name is Matt, and if you're not new, thanks again for coming back. We got a special one for you today. I'm gonna to be playing Pebble Beach on GS Pro using the Garmin R10. Um, the US Women's Open was just played there. Good Good just played there. The course looks ridiculously hard. So I'm like, I need to play that course. A uh, couple caveats, obviously we're not playing the real Pebble Beach. I have the wind turned off completely. I'm also playing for the whites. Um, I think that's gonna pose a challenge. It's a little, little over 6,000 yards. Definitely a tough course. I think if I can keep it under 100 today, that's gonna be a win in my book. So we're gonna try to keep it under 100. We'll see where we end up. I hope you guys like this. We got some exciting things. We got, we got new grips on all the clubs right here off Amazon, did those myself. We have a new bag, here it is, and you probably already saw that video, but here's the new bag. Some of you guys mentioned, uh, you know, you wish you could see me in the camera while I am getting my clubs. However, just due to the filming constraints, I only have one camera, my clubs are over here on the side. So if you see me come over here, that's where I'm going to get my clubs, they just have to be there, but I will try to do all my talking here so you can see me. Um, so anyway, grab a beverage, grab something to eat, get comfortable, let's dive right into Pebble Beach. All right, and we've also got my rocks or control box over here on the floor. Go check those. Go check out Rockstar Golf if you do want to buy one. Awesome product, and they're kind of cool. I can do a flyover right here um, of hole number one. So I'm not going to do a flyover on every hole just because it's going to take too much time. But we'll do get a flavor for hole number one. Looks pretty cool. Um, we'll get, grab a distance here. I don't know exactly my distance. We're going to go three hybrid to start uh, off the tee. Really no reason to hit driver here. I'm gonna try to play this smart. So three hybrid, off the tee. I did just do a full warm up session. You probably might have seen that video already, but that was right before this. So I feel, I'm feeling pretty loose. Oh, it's fading a little right. Ooh, don't go over there. All right, so not the, not the greatest hit to start the day off with, that's for sure. I think I hit that off the uh, bottom of my club. So we're about 156 away. Probably gonna go six iron. Uh, I am in some rough, so I'm gonna lose a little bit of distance. Actually, the one club I didn't warm up with. That was my six iron. That one's going right. Off the cart bath. <laughs> All right, well, I cheated a little bit with that. Whew. Hopefully that's not how this day is gonna go. So we are 31 yards away. Should work. 34. Sit. Woo! <laughs> All right. Somehow we, that was a par. I mean, you guys saw it go up the cart path, so nothing I can do there. I played the horse how, I sh how it was built. So we're just gonna forget about that. We're gonna move right on. Okay, so second, second hole, 429. I think I thinned that. I don't know if you can thin a driver. <laughs> I definitely thinned that. I don't know you could do that, but I definitely thinned it. So, interesting. We're on the fairway, I'm not gonna complain. We're still really far away. Oh, it's a par five. Ooh, okay. I got worried this is a par four. So I think I have a decision to make. I'm probably not gonna make that gap. I don't wanna be in the rough. I think I'm just gonna lay up. Yeah, we're gonna lay up with an eight. I'm trying to play this smart. Didn't close my club face there, but I think it's gonna work. Yeah, I didn't hit that one great. But we're 123 away. I think I'm gonna keep my eight iron. That one felt like a much better hit. I think I might've been aiming at that. Yep, I definitely was. <laughs> Damn it. All right, so I was aiming at that. Now we got a tricky, tricky shot out. We got 11 yards to go to get out of this. Obviously, it's not real sand. I'd love to try to get this close. Should work. Yeah, I definitely overdid it a bit. I just wanted to get out. <laughs> overdid it slightly. Now we're just going to chip this on. I don't know if the Garmin's going to pick that up. Hopefully, it does. 
pick that up. All right, we should get out with a bogey on that. Yeah, all right, well, that's what you get. I guess that was an error on my part. Around the green, that's okay though. All right, I'm gonna grab some water. We'll do a flyover, hole number three. We're getting close to the ocean. Nice drive out. It's gonna work, I think. <laughs> Might have thinned that one again, I think. <laughs> oh, you know what? Again, two weird driver shots in a row, but it's gonna work. It's gonna be 122, downhill. Probably normally go nine here. Yeah, I'm gonna go nine just because I'm downhill. That's what I would normally hit. The club's dirty, so I have my club cleaner over here. Clean our clubs, get it nice and clean. This one was dirty, probably from last time I played outside. That one's going right. Yeah, wasn't enough. I definitely didn't hit that one perfect off the face. Still warming up, so we're 22 yards away. Grab our 56. Should be enough. Oh, go in. All right, happy with that. Whew. <laughs> Saved a par. We will take that to the bank. Par four, 249. And you know, I don't think I'm gonna drive this. I wanna be about 100 yards in, so I need 50 yard shot. Yeah, so you know, I'm gonna, honestly, even like longer than that will be okay. So we're gonna go four hybrid. I think this will put me in a good spot. I think I opened the face on that. It's gonna work. Definitely moved my wrist a bit, but that's okay. 150. Yeah, I mean, I wanted I wanted the shot in, so I'll take this. Yeah, we'll grab our nine. I'd rather be long here than short. That one felt like a good strike. Should be enough. Oh, we're gonna go past the green. <laughs> I should have went pitching wedge. Okay. Yeah. So that's all downhill. We're gonna barely. Just barely tap this with my 56. That might be too much. All right, that's enough, that's enough, that's enough. Woo! Saved a par. That's how you correct a mistake. So, I mean, I, I hit the right club. I, sh I think if I hit pitching wedge and I was short, I think I would have been pretty upset with myself. So at least I took extra club, made it work. Look at this beautiful par three. We'll do a flyover with our rocks or box. Pretty nice. So 129, we are downhill. Uh, I think we're going nine again. Oh, you know, I don't want to be short. Yep. <laughs> Same problem here. So we got out of bounds on the, on the right over there. No. Stay in. All right. Again, I didn't strike that one good at all, but I guess that's what happens, you know, let's go. So we are gonna just try, grab our 56 degree, or just launch it in there. That should be enough. I gave it a little extra, I didn't wanna end up in that. I don't wanna end up in that bunker. Um, so that should be enough once it stops rolling. It's still going. All right, well, he gave one back there, gave back a bogey. Ah, uh, that, was, that was my own fault, but that's okay. I'm gonna forget about that. All right, so this is an interesting one, par five. This looks pretty tough. We'll do a fly over here because we have the coast right along the right over there. So we want to just stay left if we can. That's what I want to do. Pick up the ball as well. You guys are watching that. Grab that, grab that. Okay, not a bad shot. Again, not a great drive. Driver's not really on today, but it's gonna work. It's gonna put me in the rough. I think it'll be all right. So we wanna keep it left. A little off balance there. I think it's gonna work. I think I hit the bunker or something. 
160 to go. I want to keep this, I'm going four hybrid just because I'm in rough. I'm going to have to go uphill, so it should work. Definitely a little tricky of a hole. That, that shot really screwed me. That wasn't my best swing. <laughs> Oh, that was not a great swing. I was definitely nervous with that, with the, with the ocean right there on the right and my ball kind of careening down there. Um, but, you know, we're up here. Definitely an ugly hole. Feel free to skip ahead on this one. Okay, 43 yards away. Okay, we're gonna grab our 56 degree. Get a good shot into this here. Should work. Carry of 38. Yeah, that's gonna work. Stop. Ooh. <laughs> Oh, we saved a par. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know how I get away with a par on that one, but I'm not gonna question it. So we're at the infamous hole seven at Pebble Beach, and we're gonna do a flyover with this just to get, really appreciate it. All right, because we're up on this hill and because we are, we have to go down, we're gonna go with a 52. I think that should be enough club. It's gonna work. Don't be short, don't be short, don't be short, don't be short. On the green. Yeah, that was the club. That was right. Par. <laughs> All right, well, we are moving on. Hole number eight. Now we're getting kind of tricky. All right, we're gonna go three wood. I, my driver can't make it across that. So we'll go three wood, lay it up. Should be enough club to get there. It's gonna work. Oh, don't roll off. Don't roll off. Yeah, that was the right club. 183, honestly. I think we'll go three hybrid. Oh, not the greatest shot. <laughs> that was not great. It's gonna work though. That club path is really not, not doing great. Oh, it's gonna roll right on. Oh, stop, 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 stop. Okay, again, I guess this is the epitome of, it's not golf swing, it's golf. We can talk about that golf swing, but it's gonna work. And honestly, I'm just gonna hit this lightly with 52, with a little bump and run. I don't even know if Garmin's gonna register that. Oh, it did. Yeah, I mean, that's pretty much impossible <laughs> with the Garmin uh, to be gentle with that. <clears throat> just due to the chipping difficulty, so it is what it is. And we are in hole nine here. Nice little 436 par four. Yeah, I don't think I closed the club face on that, but it's gonna work. You know, we're on the fairway. Not my best drive, but it's gonna work. We're still pretty far away, 243. We're gonna use our rocks or box. We're gonna aim left. A little right. We're just gonna aim it there. I wanna stay away from the coast, so. I think I thinned it. Yeah. Oh, I was looking at the other fairway. <laughs> I didn't realize that the green was right there. I was looking at the other fairway, but oh well, it doesn't matter. All right, we're 81 yards away. Grab our 52, I think that's the club. I think it's gonna work. Ooh. All right. Should be a double, I think. Oh, bogey, okay. All right, well, we're making the turn here. I'm not even gonna look at the score. I just, I feel like I've got a good roll. I mean, a plus four. I'm not gonna look to see what that adds up to, but I feel pretty good about that. Plus four through nine, it's pretty good at, uh, you know, simulated Pebble Beach. I have the wind off, so that's a thing, and I'm not actually playing there, but I'm not gonna downplay myself. It's pretty good. Hopefully you guys are liking this content so far. If you've made it this far in the video, thank you so much. Really appreciate it. Most of you guys tune out around three minutes, so probably a bit longer than that. Yeah, that felt pretty good as my fade. I don't know what else to hit, so we'll call it a baby fade. <laughs> uh, stop rolling, stop rolling. Okay, we're still 205 to go. I mean, I, I am liking my three wood. We're going back with that. All right, we're gonna aim this left. I don't wanna make it into the water. So we're gonna aim this left. I thinned that one. That was thinned. <laughs> oh, that was thinned all day. Okay, I was definitely scared uh, with that water there. We're 67 yards away. All right, so we're gonna go 56. That should work. Wasn't the greatest swing. Um, it's gonna work. Oh, wow, that stopped weird. <laughs> All 
All right, I've never seen a ball stop that fast on a green. I'm just gonna do a little, little bump and run. I don't even know if Garmin's gonna pick that up. Yep, it did. Okay, just enough, that's all we needed. All right, well, I deserve that bogey, that's for sure. It's getting kind of hot in here too. I'm gonna grab the balls, do a flyover. Okay, we have 340, uphill, par four. Grab our driver. It's gonna work. Hit down on it though. Gonna hit up on the ball. All right, 164 away. Kind of between clubs here. I'm gonna go to my four hybrid. I don't, I don't really like my five iron, but we're gonna go four. Okay, that's gonna work. <laughs> I was worried about the bunker and I went in it anyway. Definitely lost a little distance on that. That's okay, now we gotta get out of this bunker. I'm gonna grab my 60 degree. Man, I am liking these new grips though. That should work that lip stop <laughs> all right that was a pretty good out I'm happy with that nice little par 173 I think I'm going four hybrid on this I absolutely ripped that one not the best path get over that get up sit oh that lip might have just saved me oh all right I'll take that. I'll take that. We're going to do a bump and run with my 56 degree. I get too focused on the stats sometimes in my club path. Might be too much. I don't know if it's going to pick it up. Nope, didn't pick it up. Okay, let's try it again. Should be enough. And it's not registering it. Let's try it again. That's going to be too much. Sit. All right, well, you guys saw me hit that three times. <laughs> I purposely hit that one more just to have it pick up in the Garmin. That is the downfall with the Garmin. You can't really chip very good, so just uh, throwing that out there. Especially those short chips, so those are kind of tough to do. Par four, 376. All right, that one felt hit pretty good. I actually think the tee hit off the ceiling and came back at me. <laughs> I think I hit it twice. That's kind of odd. It's gonna work though. Grab our four hybrid. Um, we're gonna aim right here. This is gonna probably pop right up. Yeah, it's gonna work. Yeah, that's the best I can really hope for with that lie and being uphill like that. Um, I really can't complain about that. I'll take that all day. So we got 30 yards to go. I think I'm gonna go 56 degree. Let's check the heat map. Yeah, so not, not too bad. It's a nice easy chip on. That should be enough. Yep. But would've liked to hit that a little closer, but it's gonna work. That'll be a bogey. All right, par five. Ooh, a big one, 548. Let's do a flyover of this one. While we collect our thoughts, grab some water. Dog leg right. I was ready for my slice here. This is a uh, this is an interesting one. This will be fun though. Oh, actually, a good club path. Finally. Yeah, I mean, not the most distance, but good good club path on that one. I kind of I waited, let myself kind of set up, and then I went. Try not to rush my downswing. Uh, I know I've been, people have commented that before that I'm rushing my downswing, so I am trying to slow down. All right, I don't really know where I'm aiming. Use our rock store box here. Yeah, we're aiming over there. All right, we're gonna go three wood. Again, just remember to slow down that downswing a bit, that transition. It's gonna work. Now I'm not too upset with that. A little short. Yeah, that's okay though. Still two out, still 209 away. All right, well, <laughs> this is a big hole. All right, 209, another three wood. Oh, that one wasn't struck very good. Nope, that wasn't a great strike, but as long as I get over this tree. Yeah, that was not hit good at all. That's okay, 75 yards in, send this right on. It's gonna work. Get up, get up. Oh, that's frustrating. This is a pretty hard hole. Um, we're just gonna bump and run this with my 52. 
hopefully that registers. Yep, that should register. Roll down. Okay, okay. That's gonna work. It's gonna give us a bogey. <sighs> All right, we're at hole 15, so we're getting around the stretch here. Doing pretty good. Grab our golf balls here, grab our tee, hit that subscribe button while you're at it. I'm trying to get to a thousand subs. 345, we're going drive around this. I'm gonna take my time. That one wasn't bad. A little, a little funny ball flight. A lot of spin on that one. That was very spinny. That's okay. That's probably why I lost some distance there. 167 downhill, 11 feet downhill. So we'll go four hybrid again. It's probably my favorite club in the bag. We're gonna aim a little right. My rock store box. I just kind of want to aim middle of the green. Oh, that's a tucked pin in there. Oh, nope. Not with that shot. Yeah, that wasn't a great shot. I think I hit that off the toe. 47 yards, I'm going for 60 degree again. No, I probably shouldn't, but kind of liking that. So 60 degree, that should be enough. Oh yeah, that's gonna spin right on. Get on there. Stop, oh, almost in that gimme circle. Okay, hey, that's okay. Hole 16, 363. Grab our driver again, try to hit a nice, another good drive. Not as spinny would be good. Try to deliver the club to the ball. Okay, better contact. That should work. Yeah, that's gonna work great. 214, all right, 149. Probably gonna go six iron, be a little too much. And we're gonna aim a little right. All right, so we're gonna aim there. Shout out to the Rock Store control box for that awesome aiming. It wasn't bad contact, but definitely a little right. I don't think I closed the club face. Bounce back on. Bounce back on that green. <laughs> All right, we made the green. It's gonna give me a bogey because we're outside of the circle. I, you know, I'm happy with that. I will take that all day. Par three, 155. Honestly, I'm keeping the six out for this one. Full 17, it should be enough club. Get me there in real life. It's gonna work again. Ah, oh, and it right still. Yeah, that's frustrating. All right, well, that's my own fault. Still gonna work on that. 35 yards away, grab our 60 degree. Nice chip right on. That's gonna work. Get in that gaming circle. Yes! Woo! R. Yeah. We are on hole 18. This is quite a hole. We're gonna do a flyover on this. We're right along the coast. Do a flyover. Look at that beautiful view. Now, it would be cool if I was actually there, but we will take what we can get. It looks great in GS Pro. Shout out to whoever designed this course. Yeah, this is on medium settings and it looks this good. So that's pretty awesome. Uh, we'll grab our driver. Gonna hit a nice drive straight out there. Yep, that's gonna work. Staying as right as we can. Now, the tree's kind of in the way. Interesting tree placement. <laughs> I don't know puts a tree there. Uh, but you know, we're not in the water, so I'm happy with that. I'm gonna go with my four hybrid on this one. Making, not making this hole easy for myself. I think that's gonna work. <laughs> I think the tree stopped it, but yeah, that's actually gonna work. I'm fine with that. 152 in, look at that green. That is a tiny, tiny, tiny green. Let's scout it. We'll use our rocks or box. Let's go with that green. Interesting. We'll go six iron. That might be a little too much club, but we're gonna go six iron here. <sighs> nope, didn't close my club face again. Now I'm making it really hard for myself. Stay out of that bunker. 35 yards, ain't nothing to it. Grab my 60 degree again, just get it right over this bunker, onto the green, call it a day. Yeah, that should be enough. That's gonna work. A little short, but hey, look at that. <laughs> We'll finish with a bogey. All right, 83, notable here. Remember I said I'd be lucky if I break 100? Well, we did that and then some. 83, back nine was definitely tough. Front nine was great. Notable thing here, no double bogeys. That is huge for me, huge, huge, huge. A lot of bogeys on the back, but you know what? Happy with that. If I ever went out to roll up, probably shot an 83, it'd be ecstatic. I don't know if that would happen. Hopefully you guys like that. Thank you again for watching so far. Remember, hit that like button, leave a positive comment, tell me what you thought. 
and we will see you next time. Thank you again.